All right, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to continue with my projections for the 2016 fantasy football season. For this vlog, I'm going to give you my top 20 wide receivers. Starting at number 20, I'm going to go with Jeremy Macklin out of Kansas City. I think he's going to be due for at least 1,100 yards receiving. I'm looking forward to seeing him get more touchdown receptions, but I understand getting in red zone situation, Travis Kelsey is the better target. At number 19, I'm going to go with Larry Fitzgerald out of the Arizona Cardinals. He actually led the team in receiving last season, and he did make, um, patch up in the top 10 in points, according to ESPN. Now, now, I'm a little bit concerned because he's getting older in age, and that is the reason why I had to bump him back to number 19. At number 18, I'm going to have to go with Jarvis Landry out of the Miami Dolphins. I do expect uh, Ryan Tannehill to have a better season, and him too, uh, uh, with, uh, Jar talk about Jarvis Landry getting more touchdown receptions um, this upcoming season. Number 17, I think his numbers is going to come up just a little bit more due to the performance of Andrew Luck, and that is T.Y. Hilton. He actually still had, I believe, 1,000 yards received last season but it was the performance of Andrew Luck that kind of held T.Y. Hilton back just a little bit. Um, next up is number at number 16 I'm gonna have to go with Amari Cooper from the Oakland Raiders. As a rookie he did have over a uh, uh, 10, uh, 1,100 yards last season, over 1,000 yards uh, last season. I think his numbers are going to produce. I think I see him at least in the 1,200 range this season um, as far as his yardage. I think he's going to have a little bit more productive season. Uh, number 15, I'm going to have to go with Sammy or Watkins out of the Buffalo Bills. Now, they did actually just, uh, I believe they just released Leonard Hankerson. That receiving core is too iffy. It's really Sammy Watkins who needs to put up a show this upcoming season. I still have high hopes of him making a top 10 uh, receiving performance this season. Um, next up is uh, number 14. It belongs to uh, Demarius Thomas. Even though Peyton Manning is no longer the quarterback, I still believe whoever is that quarterback, Demarius Thomas, will be that top target. Next up is number 13. As I have to go with Doug Martin. Uh, Doug uh, Doug Baldwin, not Doug Martin, but Doug Baldwin of the Seattle uh, Seahawks. He led the team in receptions. I believe he led the NFL in touchdown receptions or tied with 14. He had a big season, over 1,000 yards receiving, and Russell uh, Wilson will look at him as his top target. Next up is number 12. I have to go with Brandon Cooks out of New Orleans. Pulls, posting up 84 receptions. I see this kid getting 100 receptions this season and surprising everybody. I'm going to have to go with him at number 12. At number 11 is the return of Jordy Nelson from the Green Bay Packers. Now, coming back from an injury, I think that Aaron Rodgers will still have that same great chemistry we saw in previous seasons as Nelson was the Packer. At number 10, cracking the top 10, is my man Keenan Allen of the San Diego Chargers. Now, he actually was doing good last season until he got hurt. He actually started off his career with 10 missed games over the first two seasons. He needs to stay healthy, and that is going to be key for him. At number 9, Mike Evans for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He will be that young top target for oh, Jameis Woodson, who I expect to have a better season this year. Vincent Jackson starting to fade out a little bit, and this is Mike Evans' show. Um, next up is uh, net number nine. I'm going to go still with Brandon Marshall. This is a for sure Hall of Famer. Um, he's um, with the Jets. For sure Hall of Famer. Actually was um, number three overall in points last season. Had over 1,500 yards, 14 touchdown receptions, and he still is a red zone threat. This guy is still the man. Very well experienced, a great season vet. Next up is at uh, number seven, going with uh, Des Bryant out of the Dallas Cowboys. Pretty much, like I said as uh, on my quarterback video, Tony Romo needs to stay healthy. Point blank. He stays healthy, Des Bryant will produce. At number six is A.J. Green. Andy Dalton had a little bit of a slow season last year with 3,200 yards passing. I believe that A.J. Green will have a better season as he did last year. He just had just under uh, 1,300 yards receiving. I see a 1,500-yard season coming up for A.J. Green. Next up is my man Allen Robinson, who was a big-time sleeper at wide receiver coming out of the uh, – Jacksonville Jaguars, who I actually called out as a player that you need to be careful of. Now, I think Allen Robinson is going to be due for a nice big contract after his rookie contract. He is going to be that top target for Blake Brothers, and hopefully as his his career progresses, he could be the Jaguars' all-time leading receivers, receiving um, record. Um, at number four, DeAndre Hopkins of the Houston Texans. A little bit concerned with this one because of Will Fuller. I think that Will Fuller could be due for a good season. He's actually a, a sleeper that you could be looking out for, but I think that with the new quarterback in Brock Osweiler, I do believe that they could build some chemistry. It's a little bit of a 
scared there, but I'm going to go with uh, DeAndre Hopkins at number four. Number three is Odell Beckham Jr. out of um, the New York Jets. Jet, uh, New York Giants, I'm sorry about that. Eli Manning's top target, one-handed grabs. This guy's spectacular. He definitely has the tools to become a number one number one fantasy receiver overall, but not just yet. At number two, I'm going to stick with Julio Jones from the Atlanta Falcons. He's pretty much the top guy. He, teams know that the ball's going to be thrown to him, and he still manages to catch the football. He is Matt Ryan's favorite target. And at number one, as I mentioned before, as the Antonio Brown for the Pittsburgh Steelers, 136 receptions last season so points per reception he's obviously the number one guy not only points per reception but regular wide receivers um for uh, regular points 1834 yards receiving and 10 scores this guy is a weapon he is one of the top offensive playmakers in the national football league now if, let's take a look at some uh, honorable mentions some players that you should still look at as far as later on in your respected drafts kelvin benjamin's a player that you should consider coming back for um, uh, a season engine injury last season for the carolina panthers Jordan Matthews from uh, Philadelphia Eagles. I think he could be due for a good season. With Calvin Johnson gone, gone Golden Tate could post up some points. Let's not forget, in 2014, he was actually in the top 10 overall in points. Now, my sleeper for this season is a golden opportunity for Corey Coleman of the um, Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns do not really have a set receiving core. And I see that Terrell Pryor actually is having a pretty good preseason. But it's really Corey Coleman who I'm looking at because of his speed. I think he'll be due for a great season. Now, the next I'm going to catch you guys and be in just a couple minutes. The next blog I'm going to talk about is my top 20 tight ends. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Keem McCall. Be easy.